Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes. It's about 10 a.m. here in Seattle, and I got up and gave myself an hour to craft. That was at uh, 8 a.m., and it's now 10, <laughs> and I'm just making my video. Um, I ran into some problems with some die cutting, which happens to all of us, nothing that wax paper can't fix. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've been working on. I decided to come on and make the video um, without my projects completely finished, but um, two of them are, but some of them are, are not because I just ran out of time. Um, but let me first go into the products that I used. I used this die from Gina Marie Designs, and these are some dies that I got last Easter. They're still available. I checked their shop um, Friday night when I was pulling things out to play with this morning. And uh, this is still available, so um, I don't know if it has a name on it. No, but uh, her shop, if you just type in Gina Marie Designs, it'll come up. Um, I think it's like Wholesale Scrapbooking Supplies or something is the name of it. But if you just type these three words in Google, it should come up. So I got that die out. Um, and then uh, this is the die that I actually struggled with and had to use the wax paper, but I love this die. And I got it last year and I, I wanted to play with it last Easter and I just ran out, ran out of time. Um, there was other stuff going on. So um, this is what the die set looks like. It is a set of scalloped egg dies. And this is what I was originally gonna do my bunny tags on, but I couldn't find it in my stash. Um, and anyway, I found it finally when I went through everything. Um, it was actually misfiled, which is why I couldn't find it. Um, anyway, this is still available in their store. I will caution you, though, that it is a tight scallop die. At least the set that I have is very tight. And after ripping several die cuts, I decided to just die cut with the wax paper between um, me and the cardstock, if you will. So you do a layer of wax paper and then your cardstock. And I also switched to an 80 pound or even 65 pound, I think, cardstock for my pattern paper. And then I cut a second piece of white cardstock in an 80 pound to line the tag with in order to make the tag thick enough to stand up as a tag. And you'll see in a minute when I show you the projects. Um, but beautiful, beautiful die set. The only thing I will say is you definitely are going to want to use wax paper, at least if your dies are like the ones, the set that I received. They're absolutely gorgeous, but they are an intricate die and the wax paper does help. So just, um, just wanted to share that with you guys. And, uh, you can see the, the paper weight that I used is a very thin 65 pound, um, cardstock. Okay, so those are the two die sets. And then um, I used this stamp set from, this is a layers of color stamp set that I've had for a long, long time. I don't know if this is available. There may be something similar in the marketplace that you could look for. Or uh, my suggestion would be to just use a teacup die and maybe stamp some, um, some chicken wire on it or you know just do something similar so um, if you can't find a similar stamp you can always make things work um, and then I use these two stamps that I've shown before these are stamps by Judith H246 for the daffodil and then I122 for the um, oh my gosh why does this never come to me anyway for this flower stem um, and then I use those to make a couple cards. So um, I'll go ahead and show the products, um, the projects. Now I also use that Stamps by Judith stamp with the three little dots and I just made some dots on this card to add a little bit more to it. Uh, the Happy Birthday is from the, ex the, I think it's Expressions 1 from, or Expressions 3, I can't remember, from Irala Miha shop. Um, and you can see where I added some coloring into the Happy Birthday just to kind of pick up the purple above. And uh, I just, I um, was just looking to get a few more birthday cards made for spring birthdays. So that's the first one. And then this is the one where I did the daffodils. And I don't know if you can tell, but the daffodils are layered. So some I, I cut out and then some are stamped directly onto the paper behind the cup. So um, that gives it a layered effect, and you can tell better in person than you can on camera, I think. But um, anyway, and then I added one to the inside 
So I think that turned out really cute. I don't know if I showed you the inside of this card. I don't have a flower in there yet, but I probably will add one. So, um, so those are the two cards that I made. Um, I'm really enjoying doing spring stuff right now. Um, it's uh, the time of year when here in Seattle, the daffodils and crocus are all up and starting to bloom and uh, iris reticulata. And uh, this is one of my favorite times of the year. Um, so I'm really enjoying playing with stamps that uh, showcase spring images. And then uh, the other thing that I played with, of course, are the sweet eggs that I was showing you. And um, this is a, a background paper by Arala Miha Shop on Etsy. And uh, I used it to frame this little bunny. You can see the little um, bow that I made is using the, the beautiful ribbon that I was given by Kat in a recent Happy Mail. And like I said, I cut a little piece off the end and tied it and then added that as the bow on this bunny. She's wearing one of the dress print printouts from Irala Miha Shop also. And I made her the same way that I showed you guys um, on that video where I demonstrated how to do the bunnies. And then on this one, I'm trying to decide between um, punching a hole and adding this as the sentiment or stamping on here with one of these beautiful spring sentiments from this stamp set from Whippersnapper Designs. Hi Anna, this one is illustrated by Anna White and I just loved all the beautiful sentiments in here. May the blessings of each day be the blessings you need most. And I think that is such a beautiful sentiment, especially when people are going through difficult times. Um, so there are so many reasons to be happy. Hello sunshine, you are my sunshine. Uh, keep your face towards the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. That's a quote that I just love. Spring is in the air, sunshine is the best medicine, dance in the rain, what, isn't that a beautiful thing? My son loves to do that with me. Hello spring, you belong among the wildflowers, oh happy day. No winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn. No matter how long the winter, spring is sure to follow. And that's a good one for right now with everything that's going on. Um, good times are sure to follow eventually. So um, I love this set. Thank you, Anna, for designing it. Um, and I'm thinking about using some of these on these uh, little Easter egg tags that I'm showing. So I just couldn't decide. I was playing around, around looking at different things. And I love this sentiment. This is a paper tray ink one. Plant seeds of kindness in your garden will your garden of friends will grow and this was a little set that was given to me by Marilyn G hi Marilyn how are you dear um, Marilyn's been showing a lot of fun stuff so has Anna on her channel um, so I know you guys all visit her, both of them so um, but uh, anyway Marilyn gave me this and uh, I had used it on a project last year some um, little rain boot tags I think is what I used it for. But anyway, I had an extra one left on my desk and uh, in my little scrap bin. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I may do that or I may take one of these sweet sentiments and, uh, and put it on here for spring because there's so many neat ones you could use. So that's a couple different ideas. And then um, here's the one that uses the little um, silhouette of the bunny. And this is also an Arala Miha shop paper that I'd already had cut out and it was just sitting in a stack here. Um, and I thought the little brown specks in this paper went really well with the die cut. So um, this one I could almost just put a little um, string tie on it and just use it to decorate a little gift for Easter. Um, it doesn't even really need a sentiment. I think it's self-explanatory. I love that the bunny is playing with the butterfly. So, and I just think this, this die cut is so pretty with the scalloped edges. You know me, I love the little scallops. Um, and then lastly, I, I had one more bunny and uh, I'm thinking about using spring on here or um, stamping something that's a little bolder because this uh, is a little bit light, I think. So um, I may do something different, but this is just to kind of give you guys some ideas. This is part of the, this paper here is part of the same uh, sheet of paper I believe that this one comes from okay so uh, these are just some ideas for you guys on how to use um, these beautiful egg dies from Gina Marie designs and also um, the little silhouette bunny 
So um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Saturday Morning Makes once again. Um, I enjoy my Saturday morning playtime. Uh, some Saturdays are, are more adventuresome than others. Today's was a little bit of a challenge with the die cutting, so it took me longer than it normally does. But um, once you get it figured out, look at all the pretty stuff you can create. So I hope that you guys um, are, are finding some time to play and before you do your chores. And uh, I just wanna thank everybody that joins in. Um, it's so fun to see everybody's projects. Uh, Sue, Crozier, Patty, Elise, uh, Tina, who's tell them thank you. She's got a beautiful channel. I hope you go check her out if you haven't. Um, Felicia, who is Bible Scraps. Uh, I'm not going to remember everybody. I wish I could, but I just want to thank everybody. I want to say hello to my friends Kelly and Kat and P. I think P might be uploading a video this weekend uh, for Saturday Morning Make, so look for her. Um, anyway, I just want to say hello to all my friends out there. Whatever you're going through with your families and in your life that's hard, um, try to choose joy, joy, count your blessings, and uh, pray for one another. Uh, there's lots of hard stuff going on in so many of our lives, and uh, we all have our challenges. So I just wish you all a wonderful weekend. Uh, be happy and I will be back with you next weekend. Um, I may come on and share another video this weekend of some stamps that I purchased um, for my February purchases. So um, I may do that. It's something that Strawberry Cream 39 does. I think that's, is that Jennifer? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm horrible. Anyway, I like that she shares kind of what she gets every Friday, but um, I try to just stick to a little bit of purchases per month. So I do have a little something to share. And uh, I'm also really excited to buy a few of Anna White's new dye line at uh, um, over at Impression Obsession. And also Lindsay uh, has some beautiful new flower stamps that I want. I have one of her stamp sets that I have pulled out for spring to use and uh, I want to use it but I, now I see other ones that I already want. It's, it's never ending when you love to stamp. So um, anyway, all right you guys. Oh and I did want to share too if you're looking for um, chicken wire to stamp onto a teacup, this bow bunny set that a lot of us purchased at Tuesday morning that looks like this is one that you could use. Okay, all right, bye now.